we are going to discuss the topic problem as a state space search. In AI we have seen that we will represent a problem to be solved in the form of a state space search. So at the end of the session you will be able to define a real world problem as a state space search. What are the components to build a system to solve problems? Here we see we define a problem precisely looking into all the micro level aspects of the problem. We analyze the problem, we isolate and represent the necessary tasks of the knowledge and not the to total knowledge which is available with us. So we choose the best problem solving technique then and we apply it so that we get a solution to our particular problem. Knowing the components to solve a problem, we now try to find out the structure that will support us to solve it easily. As we define a problem as a state space search, we go to three criterias that have to be fulfilled. We have to define and identify a starting position. Then we have to define rules that are legal moves that take us from this starting position through intermediate states. And finally, we have to define a goal. When doing all these things, we also make explicit previously implicit goals of not only legal moves, but sometimes to a win. Let us consider the two jug problem. The problem is given a four gallon bucket and three gallon bucket, which are jugs. How can we measure exactly two gallons into one bucket? There are no mark markings on the bucket and you must fill each bucket completely. For the two jug problem, we see that the first criteria to be solved is to identify initial states. These initial states are the bucket is empty, which is represented by a tuple 0, 0, the first 0 for the first bucket and the second 0 for the second bucket. Then we identify the goal state. One of the bucket has two gallons of water in it, which is represented by either if the second bucket has two gallons, then x2. If the first bucket has two gallons, then 2x. And the path cost have to be found out, which is considered here to be one per unit step. For a two jug problem, there are various actions that are intermediate steps that might happen. So the action and successor functions or intermediate steps is filling the bucket where x is for the first bucket and y is for the second bucket. It may be 3 where x has a value 3, the first bucket has 3 gallons and y may have a value 4 in the second case where the second bucket has 4 gallons. You may empty the bucket. So the first bucket if it is empty, you will have x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 if the second bucket is empty. You pour the contents of one bucket into the other by adding and subtracting from the values of x's and y's. Then we represent all these different states into which the system was from the start state where both the buckets were empty 0, 0 till the goal state where either one of the bucket is, if the first bucket is having 2 gallons in it, then it is 2, 0 and the second bucket is having uh, 2 gallons in it, it is 0, 2. So we could draw such a graph that traverses right from the start node through intermediate nodes to the goal node. The second problem we would like to see is the 8 puzzle problem where we have states descriptions of the 8 tiles and the location of the blank tile. We have successor functions or intermediate states wherein 
we generate all the legal states from trying the four functions left, right, up and down movement of the various tiles. Then we go for a goals test which checks whether the state machines and the goal configurations are satisfied as per our requirement and we set the path cost to be 1. The next problem we deal with is the 8 queen problem. Here we place 8 queens on the chessboard such that no queen can attack one another. So the queens should be apart from each other okay? and we should also see that no path costs because only a final state count is of importance here. We have incremental formulations that have to be done and we have a complete state formulations so that we achieve our particular goal. So here we see that we can define the states which are arrangement of 0 to 8 queens on the board. 0 indicating there are no queens on the board and 8 indicating all the 8 queens are on the board. The end the initial state, no queens are on the board. Then we have successor functions where we add a queen to the empty square. And then finally, we see the goal states that are existing, which are 8 queens on the board and none are attacked. So you will have 64 into 63 into 5, uh, dot 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 up to 57 for all the 8 queens. That is 1.8 into 10 raised to 14 possible sequences. And one of them or a few of them might be the goals that we want to achieve. Ouch! This would be too much. And probably you might consider to it to be a combinatorial explosion. So you would have the arrangement of n queens instead of 8 queens now and generalize the particular problem. 1 per column in the leftmost n columns with no queens attacking each other in their states. And the successor function to add a queen to any square in the leftmost empty column such that it is not attacked by any other queen. So you have 2057 total sequences to investigate. We go for another problem that is planning for touring cities using a map. Here we see the different cities are connected with the help of weights that are leading from one city to the other. These weights may be distances between the cities or costs to reach the different other city. So the methodology is I want to have an initial state so I set it up to be at Arat and a successor function that takes me from there ahead to my goal which is a set of action state pairs going from Arat to Zerint and going from Zerint and reaching there itself. But my goal test was at Bacharist. So I would try to find out going across this particular path with a dot 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 till I reach Bacharis, which is some of the distances travelled. Now I have given you some time to think about having formulated some problems, how do we solve them now? You know already you have to search through a state space. You have to use a search tree that is generated with the initial state, the successor functions and we define the start the state space. So take some time to think now. So we have a state which is a representation of a physical configuration, a node which is a data structure constituting the part of the search tree that includes in the children depth path cost and the states do not have children or depth or the path cost and we expand the functions to create new nodes now and this is done by filling the various fields such as the successor function 
expand the successor to go to the next node and you create the corresponding states. So the methodology is to identify the states and to point to its parent and to the next state, keeping an account of the depth and keeping an account of where we are at present. So you might define different functions like a function which is using a strategy and returns a solution or a failure, looping on till you get your particular output or your goal has been reached and then returning the state which is your goal state. You would require a function that returns a, function, a solution or a failure and you would improve on it inserting all with an expansion of the nodes at various levels. You would also modify to find out and returning the nodes of a particular solution further. So having this particular methodologies, we now have a state space search and looking through the states and going across with the help of the arcs, we are going from the start state through intermediate states to the goal state, representing our search as a state space. For our references, we have used the textbooks. Thank you.